Welcome to Randstad's training session for our online candidate portal called My Randstad. This session will focus on adding a timesheet using the portal. The screen we're currently viewing is the home page of the portal for a candidate. The portal has been designed for you to be able to complete activities like entering a timesheet and viewing your bookings and pay slips. If you're not set up on My Randstad, please speak to your Randstad consultant directly. Once set up, you'll receive an email that looks like this. This will require you to click on the Get Started Now option to set up your username and password to the portal. You can see the options to download the app to your smartphone too. When you've clicked on Get Started, the following page will appear. You'll need to set up a password using the requirements as shown. Create your password and hit Submit. You're then redirected to a new page. Click on the blue writing to be taken to the login page for the portal. Enter the username and password you just created. If you wish, you can align your Facebook, Google or LinkedIn account for easy access too. Click Login to enter the portal. You are now logged in. The navigation pane on the left hand side will give you access to the items that you've been set up for by your Randstad consultant. Today's session is going to focus on timesheets. In this section there are three main areas, to do, submitted and approved. I'm going to create a timesheet using the create timesheet button in the top right hand corner of the page. The system is going to ask you for the relevant booking and so choose the right booking from the list. It will also ask you to let it know what time frame you are entering the timesheet from. You are now on the timesheet details page for the chosen booking and time period. By scrolling down you'll see the sections you're able to complete. You can record a cost centre or a purchase order and you can click the click to edit sections under each of these headings. So let's enter our actual hours. Go ahead and add the start and finish times for your first day. Note that this is in 24 hour clock. You'll also need to add in breaks and these are in minutes. If you wish to use the same set of hours for the remaining days of the week, you can click on copy. This will then ask you to tick the relevant days from your week that it relates to and then it will copy these hours down to those chosen days for you. When you're happy with the hours you've entered, click on save changes. This action will not submit the timesheet to the approver as yet. It is simply saving what you have entered. Therefore, if you choose to update your timesheet on a daily basis, you can wait until the end of your week to submit in one go. If you're ready to send the finished changes to the timesheet approver, hit Submit Timesheet. When you hit Submit Timesheet, we'll ask you for confirmation of this. Your timesheet will now have the status of Submitted. If you need to change or edit this submitted timesheet, you can do this before the client approves it by using the Recall Timesheet option. If you need to add a supplementary shift to those listed on your timesheet, you can use this by using the Add Shift button underneath the hours that you've entered. It will ask you to enter the date and times for the extra shift and include any breaks. Hit Save and this will add the new shift into your timesheet. You will note this supplementary shift is now visible alongside your other hours. If you scroll down, you'll note that you're able to actually add employee comments. This will be sent through to the approver and through to Randstad's payroll division. Your approver comments might be complete if your approver rejects your timesheet and wants you to provide you with some of the reasons why. You're also able to add attachments to your timesheets. Click on the Add Attachment button. Choose the attachment you need to associate to the timesheet. This is useful for items like receipts and doctor's certificates. You're also able to access attachments at the very top of the page. You'll notice that you've got a paperclip icon here. If you click on that, it's actually going to open out the same attachment section for you. If your timesheet is rejected by the client, you will receive a timesheet from the system letting you know the timesheet has been rejected. What you'll need to do is log back into the system and look at the to do section. Look for a timesheet that has red next to it. This indicates that it's rejected. Click on the timesheet number and scroll down and you should see some notes from the client letting you know what is incorrect or wrong. I can see that the entered timesheet has the incorrect finish time and I've forgotten my break. So I'll need to edit these and then I can resubmit the timesheet back through to the contact again. 
Similarly, when your timesheet is approved, an email is also sent to you as the candidate um, to, to let you know about this approval. This is visible and in your portal also under the approved section. So if you need to view the details, you also have access to this. When using the portal, you've also got access to be able to reset your password. So if you've forgotten your password, on the login page, which is myransdad.com.au, you can simply hit Forgot Password, and this is going to ask you to enter the username or email address that you use, and a code, and then certainly an email will be sent to you to reset this password. We hope you enjoyed this training session and thanks for helping us shape the world of work. Should you require further assistance, please contact your Randstad consultant directly.